Hello, good people of the internet. Today we're playing Growth, which is a cozy, uh, soft strategy game, in the words of the devs. Um, how I actually played it up to this point. Key has been kindly provided, so we thank the devs slash publishers. Uh, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So you can move with the arrow keys, but also WSD works. Uh, the world of growth is built out of tiles. Each tile represents a landscape. For example, the tile with the trees on it is called a forest tile. A group of tiles is called a habitat. Habitats you control have a white outline around them. Select your forest habitat with the mouse. If you select a habitat you control, you can see all the animals that can be sent from that habitat. In this case, you only have deer available. You can see the total number of animals at the bottom of the screen. Select deer. In growth, you have to send animals to explore the world. The goal is to find new habitats to obtain more animals. Sending animals reduces their number by one and transforms the selected tile into the corresponding landscape. If you're out of animals, you have to start over. Hold mouse button to click uh, to send your deer to the indicated tile to claim the adjacent forest habitat. So if I send it here, I claim that habitat and the level is complete and I get my first um, achievement. Anyway, while our brown tiles are a barren wasteland, dark green tiles indicate a directly adjacent forest habitat. Okay, waiting for you to claim it. They're called indicated tiles. Lighter green tiles are further away. This also applies to differently colored habitats that you will find. Claim the dark green colored Indicate a tile with your deer to claim the hidden forest habitat. So can I click that down here? Uh, choose deer, and then it wants me to choose that one. I see. You get new animals whenever a habitat has enough tiles of a landscape, or if a new habitat is being claimed. Animals are available globally, so you can send them from every habitat that fulfills the minimum tile requirements. Since you found and claimed a new habitat, you received all its animals, select your newly claimed habitat. A uh, great size of the habitat consists of six forest tiles, for which you will receive two deer and one boar. Once a habitat meets the minimum requirements for an animal, it can be sent from there. Select a boar from your new habitat. It seems to be another hidden habitat. Does that? Uh, to the right, indicated by the light green tiles. Unfortunately, a deer does not have enough range to reach it. Luckily, we've just unlocked a boar, which can travel further than a deer. Send a boar to the indicated tile. So light green, so it's like one, two away from it, maybe? Because it can't go on this one, right? Yes. I ran out of animals, so I did it wrong. I assumed I wasn't allowed to click on these ones. Uh, well, I'll just do this. So, I am allowed to click on the white ones then? I don't know what's happened there. Because I thought I clicked on this one before. Hmm. Anyway. We'll just move on. Look, there is a big forest habitat on the other side of the river. Is there? How do they know this? Oh, you mean this thing. Uh, unfortunately, forest animals can't travel over water, so we need to find another way to claim it. Claim the yellow indicator tile to reveal what is hidden there. So we're going to send our deer this way. Found a new landscape, the meadow. While exploring the world, you will find various types of habitats, giving you access to new animals with different abilities. Select the bee. These can fly over water. Let's use that ability to claim the habitat on the small island. And we now sent our first bee, which is another achievement. Go us. And yes, we claim the habitat consisting of both forests and meadows. As you can see, the white ant white land. Um, to reach the big forest habitat across the water, we need to get our bees in range. Uh, to do that, connect both habitats in the middle by populating the tiles between them with deer. So we're going to use our deer here. Doesn't let me do it that way. 
populate in the mudir. Maybe I have to do it from here. Yeah. You have to start from a habitat to send something. Okay, so now that this is one habitat, it can send both deer and bees. Yes, okay, so two habitats became one big habitat. Since animals are always available in the whole habitat, we increase the effective radius where our bees can be sent. With this, you can now reach the big forest by sending a bee across the water. Indeed, we can. Level complete. Sometimes you'll see special structures on the map. It is usually worth it to try and explore what is hidden there. Let's came the nearby forest indicated by the green coloured indicator tiles to explore the area. The nearby forest. Green to like this thing. Okay. We claimed the new forest habitat and got two deer from it. Sadly, we currently don't have any indicators to see where the next habitat is. Let's try to send a deer in the direction of the marker. Due to the indicator tiles, we can now see that a big forest habitat is near the special structure. But we can't send a deer from a single forest. We need to expand it to have the minimum requirements to send a deer. Let's send another deer right next to the newly created forest. So why did this create a forest if, if it wasn't an indicator there? Because it's not really a forest, it's just a woodland or something. Anyway, so we do this. And now we can send a deer from here. We create a new habitat on our own and can now send a deer from it. Send a deer to the indicated tile to see what is beneath the special structure. Relic Seeker. Claim your first point of interest. So that is a point of interest. It is an ancient ruin from a lost civilization, a so called point of interest which are often bigger structures that award more animals, and in some cases even special ones. With the found animals, we can now continue to explore the map further. Let's try to claim the other point of interest too. Okay. So... We, we can send the deer out, but it can't go across the water. If I go here, is that going to do anything? It creates a thing, I see. Uh, does this count as a meadow? No, it's not a meadow just yet. But we'll need it maybe to get a bee. Maybe I should have used the boar to get here first. Because I can't send anything from there. But now I can... What did you send before? Okay, so you're... Well, maybe I've wasted a deer then. So we can send a bee from here. Bees can fly over water, yes. We select the bee, thank you. And somehow we completed that level as well. New discovery, hiking trail. This can now be found on the map. And the lake. And the island ruin. And the forest ruin. Lots of things can now be found on the map. Okay. So. How to play. Explore the majority of the current area to unlock the next one. Find points of interest to gain access to more animals, reach the hidden volcano that threatens nature, and soothe it. How does one soothe a volcano? Dunno. Anyway, so, this is our big map. I guess we would want to come to this thing, because is that a point of interest? Maybe this is too. So let's head out this way first. I'm going to select our deer. There is. Um, we don't own this one, though. And... Can this... 
This can't send boars. Oh, it needs to be six big to send a boar. What else you got? Okay, so... We've got extra points, though. There's, like, some... I don't know. What is this? It's just another deer. Okay, well, we might as well keep exploring. Again. Another habitat, another deer. But then there's nothing else on the extremities except for this thing, but we can't get around that just yet. It's my understanding. So we could keep going up here. Like, what happens if we send a deer this far? There are mountains. This is... These don't count as a habitat. Apparently not. If I go here, I get an extra deer, because that creates a habitat. So I guess I should do that, because that's then a free deer. But that's a mountain, so I can't actually get to that. Um, okay. And... I mean, I could try going this way instead. Because I wonder if I have to go this way to go around it and up there. Okay, this is starting to lead to a bit of a dead end. I can't send anything from this, then. Uh, okay, so it's telling me... In fact, if I do this, it, it's saying... Well, I'll get one deal because that will then be a habitat, and I will reveal these to me. That's what's telling me. Okay, and now there's this thing. I should be able to find a deer home over here. Habitat, not a deer home. And that can send to this thing. Which again, we can... Which one do you prefer? This one? Doesn't really matter. Now we have a couple of boars. We'd need to get to this meadow, maybe. But this can't send boars just yet. But if I do that, then I do get the bee. And this can send... Can't... We can't send a deer, because there's only one thing connected to it. So I could try and join these up. Is that useful? Don't know. Because at the moment I can send a deer from this one and I can just I'll be able to reach that or at least see what it has and then we'll be able to reach it. If I want to send a boar from here, I'd need to do something else. Okay, that requires going across the river, though. So we can... This is not saying I'm going to have... Oh, because I can't actually reach that far. Okay, so maybe I do join these up. Which gives me an extra boar. We'll send a boar from here. Let's do that. Okay. Can this bee actually reach here? No. So I'm not actually close enough. So whilst I can send a bee from here, I can't actually reach this thing. So I could keep sending out a deer that way. Um... Is that where I connect this up to this one? That would require two deer. And I should get one of them back, right? Because that would... Oh, it joins it up that way. What happens if I select a B and do that? Does that give me an extra B? No.
But this gives me one of both of them. Because I reached a certain size. Oh, I see. Because it's now a size 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh no, it's 10, 10 forest, 2 meadow. So if I connect another two tiles, I get an extra B. That makes sense. So where possible, you you kind of want to get as many tiles for each thing. Anyway, we want to connect up this thing. Is that actually going to give us the meadow? Apparently so. Um, but these are not connected. Which I guess makes sense. And yeah, you can only send bees. Right, how big are you? You're a size six. But I could send a deer. No, it doesn't quite reach. Well, I could join these two up and then I could send a boar. Because that was free. And then that one's also free. And then we can send a boar to... Well, we could send it further, but... That's good enough. And then from here we can send a deer. I don't really know where I'm going to. Can you reach? You can't reach. Okay. So it's either... Well, increasing it to size 4 gives you a free deer, effectively. So we can make this a size 4. And then make that one a size 4. Well, then it becomes a size 8. It's still free, isn't it? But you get it. Two things. Right. And now you can send a ball to reach this thing. We can get another bee, because there's a meadow there. And then we could start sending bees over here and here. That isn't actually giving me a bee. That's a free bee. Get it? A free bee? Well, this whole area is just because it's the same area, I see. Whereas that has meadow, which was slightly different. Oh, it's the slightly darker colour that you need. But still, there's darker colour here. Yeah, there's a small bee there as well. There be more. And can your boar... No, that's quite a long way to go. And you're not... What is the range on the boar? One, two, three, four, five. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not going to get to there, is it? So I could use two deers. I'll get one of them back. In fact, I could join that up to there as well. So if you send a deer, it's just short. Shame. Well, I could use a B, except it's not going to be a free B. That would be. Um, is it worth having a free B? Suppose that is another free B. This is fully maxed out, so I don't know where that last B came from. So it's, well, I suppose maybe it's gone up to eight now. Um, trade a boar. For a deer. Okay, now it's not. Okay, so now this whole big thing has got deer on it. 
so I can use it to connect that up. However, this doesn't have bees to get across, so I'd need to do more bee stuff. I mean, whilst I'm here, is that not just free? Plus one. Not quite sure why it was only plus one. Um, we. What is the score? Yeah, it's re revealing bigger areas grants more points for sure. But like, explore eighty percent of the current map is what we need to do to complete the area. So we are just looking to explore generally. Fair enough. But connecting things like this is the best way to do it, as far as I understand. You do not have access to beats. That's the problem currently. So I either spend two to connect these up. Or is one B enough? I guess one B is not enough. Well, let's connect up one B. Right, not enough. Fine. But if I do that, then I get way more. Oh, well, it's a choice. Do you want a B or do you want those two? Well, let's go for a B for now. Now you can send a B across here. I assume there isn't too much else out there. I guess it's hard to see. Well, that's barren, actually, isn't it? Is there anything else we've missed over here? So there is some green, sorry, yellow over there. There's also some green down here, so we could send a deer to reveal those tiles. Anything else? There is patches of green over here. That suggests there could be something, right? This is a free ball, so maybe trade that for that. That can go as far as there, which luckily um, finds a forest, so we get a couple more deer. Yeah, there's a lack of bees in this area. That's the current problem as well. Uh, maybe I can use a bee join that. This is a habitat? Yes. Can you... No, you can't go through mountains. You can fly over water, but they can't go over mountains. Um, but we could just connect this up. Doesn't quite reach, does it? Well, isn't that a shame? So we have to spend a deer, but we get a bee. And then we're going to use that bee to come and cross this river. Again, there's, there's barren wastelands here. Uh, we should be able to connect up to that thing, but requires maybe a boar. What size are you? You're a size 6, and you are a size 20. I just trying to... If we connect these up, does it help us? Because I'll have them bees available over here. I need to connect these ones as well.
I don't know, unless there's a better way to to find some more stuff this way. Oh, and you can't actually send any boars anyway. Okay. Hmm. Well, if we do that, and then I don't know, I need to do it next to you. That gives me one back. Then you can connect that up and get a whole bunch of things. And also go over here. And then you can go this way. It's from 79%. We just need one more percent. It's not just like any tile anywhere. So if we join these up, we get one of each. That's great. Okay, so now this thing can send bees over here. We're up to 80%. I guess we just keep going until we're, we're done. Run out of animals. Um. Okay, well then let's, let's send some bees this way. And from here, I suppose we could join these up, couldn't we? Have plenty more deer, so let's go with. With that, because then that provides more than we spent, I think. And also means that we can fire some bees off in this direction. Uh, that's a freebie. That's two. Um, I think this is still a freebie, yes, because if we can, then let's m we should join these up. Cuts. Then we can send a deer. Hmm. Maybe we want to send a boar instead. Nope. That also doesn't have the reach. So the choice is join this up so that it has all the access to those things. Which would take three, and I'd get none of them back. Or I can just use two deers, and then I'll be able to send a deer from, the, from that one. It's probably the better way to do it, isn't it? So now this can send a deer down here. Can't quite reach. Can you? Yes. Okay. Is there any patch? There's a patch here that we maybe can't get to because of the water. That makes sense. And if we be. be going this way. should be able to get it back. Mm. Only if I use a ball. Well, let's use a ball then. And this will just give me a freebie, so it's worth it. Or not. Again, I could join this up, but it's no need. Where else have we got stuff? This suggests there's forest here, but I don't think there is. I think it's just because it's a proximity to this. Okay, so maybe this needs another bee. Now we can let's see, just send out some feelers. There we go. So there's one. That can join up. Plenty. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I'd get a free one just by joining these up. That's a boar. 
That's one of each. Right. But that also means that you can send bees. Okay. This gets an unknown number of deer. You have successfully explored the area. Choose where you want to continue. Continue? Well, I had some pretty good chains down here, so maybe we go this way. And we've now completed our first area. But that's only 3 oh, we're 3% into this one. And it stuck these things along, along my way. Anyway, this is growth. Again, Key has been kindly provided, so thank you. Um, if you're interested, check it out. But yeah, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day, wherever it is you are. Thanks, and goodbye.